Hey guys, Renick here. What I want to do today, I want to help you guys with, well, just want to give you some input regarding my specifications, my settings that I use for Battlefield. Um, the reason why I would like to make this video in the first place is because recently I started playing CSGO. Now the first thing I obviously go and do is go on YouTube and I try and find, you know, what's the best settings to use for CSGO, uh, what DPIs do the pros use, what crossy they use whatever anyway so like there's a lot of that for csgo because there's a lo lot of pro players and so on but there's not really a lot for battlefield because of you know the community is so small regarding competitive gaming and whatever so um i just want to uh, let's start with the computer i'm using a normal i got a 4770k i7 processor i've got a pretty decent processor I've got a pretty decent motherboard it's just the msi gaming one um i've got a um, 16 gig ram i've got gtx 780 um it's pretty good i mean i won't really you know say you'll need any better to be honest because i mean if you, if you really care about playing well you really care about getting the best out of your game for competitive gaming then you wouldn't really need, you know, Bucky Simba chips flying across your screen and all that kind of shit. You know, you just want things looking plain, boring, and you want to be able to see the enemy player as easy as possible. And then you wouldn't really. Yeah, oh, dude, it's it's pretty. It's pretty much like that. Um, let's start with my video settings. Um. Okay, I play on 1280 times 720 on 120 hertz. Um, I've got an Alienware OPTX uh, screen. I got it some time ago. It's still LCD. It's nothing wonderful. Um, well, okay, it's pretty decent. I kind of enjoy it. That's why I haven't replaced it yet. Don't find that I need to change it for 144 hertz screen. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, brightness is 70%. Uh, the reason why it's this and not more is because um, uh, my NVIDIA uh, desktop thingy, you know, that where you change all that shit, um, the digital vibrance is set to plus 60. So basically, what it does, it just like makes all the colors more extravagant. It just like brings everything. Oh shit, it, it brings out the color a bit more, just like exaggerates the color of the. It, it, it works for me, I like it. Um, you can play with it, but uh, the reason why I don't make the uh, the brightest more is because this is what happens. Uh, you know, see this glow? Uh, it makes it, you know, the sun glare is really bad in Battlefield. You know, it's very, 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 I mean, I don't think it's as, as bad as it was in Battlefield 3, but but yeah, it's still pretty bad. Now, I put it to 70, it, it's still better, it's still nice, and you can still see everything. Anyway, um, so yeah, I do that, put it on 70, field of view on 80, motion blur mount off, you don't want that, you don't want need for speed up in here, just put that shit off, weapon, yeah, I don't even know what that is, colorblind off, uh, HUD scale 50, resolution scale 100%. Um, with a resolution that's basically your own preference that's, that's not something you have to change it to mine that I've seen people play on lower I've seen people play on higher um, for 3 I used to play on 1440 10 something I don't know I'm not sure but yeah so it's it whatever works for you and graphics low 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 mesh quality ultra um, Terrain quality low, terrain decoration low. Um, Anti-aliasing four times MSA. Um, Anti-aliasing post high, and ambient occlusion HBAO. Um, just put this like this. I mean, if you really want to play for fancy graphics and fancy visuals, that's your thing you know you can do that but if you want the best out of your game you you want max frames remember if you play on a 120 hertz screen or 144 hertz screen you need to get more frames than 
the amount of hertz you know, you're running at. So I mean, if you run at lower, your your screen will bring a will more than once show the same frame, and you don't want that. Um, I'm not too clued up about that, but so I'm not going to go into it. So that's the reason why people play on low anyway, is you get the most frames, it improves your network and gameplay and all kinds of shit. Anyway, um, mouse I use, uh, firstly I use a SteelSeries Soft, I have a big mat, I use um, SteelSeries Soft mat, it's pretty nice. I use a SteelSeries Sensei, the MLG version, you get it in a normal, you got the things about three versions of it. I don't know a difference between the three, um, like, but it's nice. I mean, I like it. Um, one thing I also like about it is the fact that you don't have to have the software on your computer. Um, this mouse got like a CPU unit thingy in the mouse, so you can like do your DPI and everything on the mouse, and you can plug it into another computer, and it works 100% fine. Um, my DPI is on a thousand one hundred. Um, the reason why it's a thousand one hundred isn't because it's also it's personal pref preference. I used to start off slowly, uh, but I'll tell you now why. Soldiers seems to be eight percent. Vehicles seems to be fifteen percent. Um, okay, I used to play on a very slow DPI. I mean, I used to uh, like basically what I do is I use my wrist to you know to aim I don't lift up my hand very often I used to do it a lot I used to you know my GPI used to be like that so so I had to work my hand like 2,000 times to just turn around but now I changed it up as I got like used to the GPI I changed it and changed and changed and made it more so that now when I play I do a hand twitch and it makes a perfect 180 degree turn. No acceleration, everything's awesome. So, someone shoot, boom, boom, boy. So, it's pretty nice. I mean, I like it the way it is because it's precise. I mean, I like the sensor because it's smooth, it's it's accurate, it's it's a lekker lekker mouse. And, um, like, I don't want you to guys to change your your TPI to exactly mine, but I mean, my best advice can be to start slow, eh? start with a slow DPI, get used to it, and then make it more, you know, there's no need to have it that high that you do three 360s in one swipe, you know, that's that's stupid, you don't need that, uh, like, I like it the way it is, you're never going to need to do, you, you don't need to look straight forward and then do a 360 just to look forward again, you know, you need to most likely only be able to do a 180 as quick as possible so um, so yeah my mouse is, is perfect the way it is I don't think I'll change it anytime soon I mean I love it the way it is it works 100% um, and yeah so basically what you guys want to do I want to make more videos I want to help you guys as much as possible um, tell me what you guys use tell me what's what DPI are you guys are using at the moment tell me why Leave comments, tell me what you guys want to see and maybe on the next video. And and yeah. That's me out guys. Cheers.